Good morning everybody welcome in smart Pass generation 4 today we talk about how you can make upgrade for your SPAS module you need first the upgrading kit and you need this cable the USB all of them coming uh, one package here what we notice in our uh, upgrading kit we have two socket here the right one here written is ISP the left one JTAG the ISP will use the ISP once you start upgrading the dimmers doesn't matter how many channels the left one JTAG for rest of them so today I will make upgrade for my USB for my uh, security module here so I'll fix the, this jack exactly like this I'll fix it on my JTAG here and uh, now it's fix it I'll fix the next one in the security module I'll check my I'll check now my security module here if you notice I have uh, USB port in each device of SPAS has USB so you can make upgrade I put my USB cable. Now it's ready. If you notice here, also there is power. That means you need to support power for your device before you make upgrade. Then fix our plug your USB cable on your laptop. I'll fix it now. This one USB. Plug it. Now for Windows 7 people, before you. Uh, install the driver because sometimes no need this depends on your laptop go to start go to computer properties then go to device manager go down to the ports now check here already uh, uh, detected my device uh, my laptop already detect the uh, USB uh, upgrading kit so otherwise if not detect just download the program this file already uh, up uh, uploaded uh, on our website there is also I'll put the link down in the description you can download it once you download it you have this folder you have two files number one number two number one for some laptop some brand and number two for different brand you can check if first one not working with you doesn't work with you you can install the next one for sure okay for Windows XP people go to start go to computer press properties then go to hardware tab okay hardware tab then choose device manager exactly like this device manager after you choose the hardware tab you will find this one the, the same go down to the ports check here after you install the program if needed even if you install the program if you cannot find easily just remove the USB cable and for your upgrade kit and put it again plug it again unplug and plug now it's already coming here okay after we install the driver, after we fix the cable on the module, you need to install the program here, AVR Studio. Just fix it for one time. Also, I put the link down in the description. You can find it easily on our website. Open the program now. Cancel. This first time I open the program. Go to the AVR icon here. Now what we have here. First, we need we, we will work just on flash section here okay now down here we have detect uh, detecting on auto that mean my laptop detect this USB uh, upgrading kit also detect the chipset inside my module otherwise you will get connected connecting failed now uh, go to the browse here in the flash section in the middle then choose your firmware already also we, we upload the firmware files on our website I will choose because I will upgrade the security I will choose security folder I will choose here this file notice here each file has chipset number here my that mean different from uh, module to other one here what I have in security one security module the chipset number is chipset at mega 64 let me check other one logic 64 the same okay let me check the IR emitter chipset at mega 32 so that means different between device to other one I will go back to my security my security I will choose 64 that mean if here 64 I have to choose the device exactly like uh, the firmware name I will choose Atmega 64 because here is 64 then press program now everything is ok here now checking now programming the flash you can check the progress bar here in blue after we finish this one there is the reading checking the flash and by the way this way working for all SPOS module except the RSIB 
and the Z audio. There is different way to upgrade. We will explain this in next uh, video. Now checking. Now reading the flash. Like make verify. If you get failed connection, remove your USB again, put it again, close the program, put it again, and repeat what I did already. Now almost we finish. Now we finish. Now leaving once you read leaving programming mode, it's okay. That means you are ready. Now you can close the program and your SPAS module is ready. This what we have to know about upgrading. Thank you for your watching.